All right, here we are heading up north into the claims. We got about an hour's drive to go. Beautiful sunny day. You can see there's still ice on the uh, lake here. There's a big beautiful rock. It, I call it Rock Cut Lake, but it's Mud Lake. It reminds me of, well, a rock. <laughs> Alrighty, so there's Andy. He's ready to roll this morning. Good morning, Chris. You've met Andy. Let's go find some gold. Alrighty, so we're back at a spot in the claim where the land is higher over here and it dips down and then it goes through this area and it goes way up over there, okay, several hundred feet. So we know we're in the low spot. Now in the past, this area has been um, forested. They came in here with machinery and they kicked up some of the rocks and stuff. And uh, <clears throat> unfortunately, there's way more snow than we expected back here. The ground is not going to be diggable. But uh, the weird thing that happened, I saw this simple stone and oh, there goes the cart and I was like ah looked it over it's heavy very heavy but I couldn't see anything so I tossed it down Andy there comes along with the metal detector goes over it beep 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 it's reading silver All right there he's got another one now something in there. It sounds like it's in the higher range. But he comes over, he checks this area here. This rock here was sitting up there. It's full of silver. Reading silver, silver, silver. All right. Now silver right now is about $20 uh, ounce. It's not exactly Yahoo. Uh, a dollar a gram compared to gold, which is at 102 dollars per gram currently and and going up okay they're they're looking at it's going to go up quite a bit so what'd you find yeah so he's got and that's the same as it reading silver again yeah yep. so our area that we picked does have glacial um, till in it that has metals that have come down from up north um, there's a claim <clears throat> north of us and to the right one claim. The uh, findings in there were copper, uh, silver. Where we checked with the falls um, last week, we found a rock with iron, copper, and silver. There was a few of them. <laughs> and that was from that claim above. So here we are on our own claim, and I've been in here in the summer, it's hard to tell right now, but there's rocks all over the place, that, uh, right there is a rock covered in moss, right, there's one over there sitting in the water, right, boulders, and good sized rocks, foot, foot, foot and a half, there's one over there behind a tree. Behind the base of that little tree right there. So we've we've got the rocks at the surface, and from what the maps tell me, we're about five feet here above the bedrock. So we're almost down at river level. We don't have a lot of digging to do here to actually get down to bedrock. And that's why we chose this spot, because if this is an ancient riverbed, which I believe it is, um, if we start here in the low spot and work our way towards where it goes up over there about 60 feet away, right? Chances are working away this way, we will find something along the way and then be able to work north and south, right? This is going towards the east. And then work north and south and do a grid pattern and find what's, what's down here on the bedrock and amongst those boulders and in the dirt. Um, this whole area has at the very least very fine flower gold. What we want to find is the old riverbeds where it was heavier gold dropped out and they could be thousands of years old I don't know nobody really knows 100% but chances are there's bigger gold so that's what we're up to and Andy's way over there that boy you give him a metal detector and he is gone yeah
Uh, it's too early in the year because of all the snow. Uh, spring runoff made me get a soaker. What's that reading, Andy? Silver and copper. A little boulder in and up. You can see the uh, tree is down here. That's the roots that tossed up a rock. So we're gonna we're gonna grab the shovel. Oh wait a minute, he may have it with that one. Throw it out by itself, yeah. There you go, he found it. I found it. The good thing it's not a big one, because we're struggling with the way that Ooh, thing. Oh, that's going. pretty. It's got something in it, yeah. Look at the orangey. That could be a lot of iron, but it could be oxides of some sort. I'm not on I know there's something in this. You can see the difference in, in the colors. Another one. My goodness, we're gonna have a lot of rocks to take take home and bust up. Yep. Nothing visible to the eye, but the color's right again. My, my. That one I think we'll take home, it's heavy. That one's heavy too. Just, uh, we can only take so much. I'm already, there's our blue cart there. And I'm already really puffing and panting, just pulling that across the snow and wherever there's bushes, it's a real pain to get through. So this is what you can do in the fall, even though you've had a few snows and you know some of it melts a little bit. You can do this in the spring. You can take your metal detector and go around your property and just see what's there. You're only going to be finding boulders and, and stuff like that, you know, unless you got exposed bedrock somewhere, right? Um, if you have GPS, you can mark on your map where you are if you find something of worth, like something in a... Oh, gosh. I'm winded. Uh, something down on a bedrock. You know, maybe a crevice full of gold or something. It's frozen. You can't dig it out. Okay, no problem. Just mark it on your map with your GPS and come back in the spring when it's thawed. Hopefully it's not underwater. Right here on this claim, we're above water level. I think I said about five feet is the bedrock. If we dug down right where we were earlier where I was filming, that's going to fill with water right now for sure. But it's still semi-frozen, so we're not killing ourselves. Come the end of summer, it'll be dry enough to dig down to the bedrock. There's a nice big boulder, but we already checked it. Even though it's got that reddish tinge that seems to be uh, in other ones. But because of their uh, logging efforts in here, You'll see a lot of leftover pieces that they bulldozed, right? And they came down, or over time, some of them got blown down by the wind. There's not a lot of big stuff growing in here, but there is the odd tree. But it's still a beautiful day. It's warm enough to be out here with just a light jacket on. My right left foot is not appreciating what I did. I stepped in a bit of a puddle under a tree. <laughs> And down it went. So let's go see what the man is looking at. It's very up and down here. It's not even. These old root systems are on top of gravel, and that's a good sign. When a tree is growing all up and lumpety, it's. Oh man, he found another one. That one sounded even higher. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Let's take a look at her. Yeah, it's a bit of a conglomerate of, oh, looky there. That's some black. So that's the metal. Um, the mineral that we're detecting is gonna be in that black stuff, the silver. There could be concentrates of a lot of other precious metals that are, um, in the silver range and our little metal detector which is like 30 years old is picking up those metals so very similar stuff which is good oh look at that there's a chunk of iron on the end of that one and that, well, that could actually be a silver and it's ox it's oxidated so silver not being worth a lot it's like eh but these ones are rolled pretty good, so the chances of them being from this particular claim is pretty low. Um, 
but it shows you what is in the rough area and that could mean anywhere on the bedrock we will find something similar all right we'll find a, a vein of silver my goodness we got a great big one down in here in the back it's very heavy and it was reading silver as well uh, we found out yeah there's many metals that read as silver on this uh, detector it's not differentiating them um, thorium being found in the claim above and we finding a rock that read silver it could be it was thorium it can be some of the platinum metal groups if they're strong enough there's a concentrate will read up in that area and there's other metals as well where where did he go where you at bud Oh, right up there. So, if you never get out into this kind of stuff, um, I'm like 62 years of age. Had a heart attack two and a half, three years ago, whatever it was, three years ago. Lost the weight, got in better shape. Physically, I'm not... <laughs> he got my boot. Look at that one. Physically, I'm not the strongest human being anymore, but I can manage this type of stuff. It'll get your heart rate up, but it won't kill you. There's lots you can do. Just take your time and putt-putt around, even if you're an older guy. There's guys a lot older than me been at it for many years. The difference is they took better care of their body when they were younger. <laughs> yeah, silly me. Beautiful out here, though. Just beautiful. Point this guy in a direction and watch him go with that thing. And he always finds stuff. I, I go out metal detecting by myself. I find squat. I give it to him within five minutes every single time he's got something. There's a nice little something in this one here, Andy. Uh, it might be on the surface, but no, it's not reading anything. All right. Well, I think we're going to move back out a bit further. There's one rock sticking up over that way. Looks sharper though, so I doubt there's anything in it. Usually the the sharper rocks are lighter. Um, they don't generally contain anything. They didn't come from as far away. So they're not as well rounded in the streams and that. Why they're sitting on top has to do with the machinery that's been in here working the place before. Yeah, there's some color in this one. I'm not sure what I'm seeing that's shimmering there. I have to put the glasses on. Looks like a piece of quartz. Yeah. Yeah, there's some quartz right there, there, there vein of it running through that rock but no sign of metals and he just hit it there's a heavier one over here you can tell by the color of it alone and it's got some pink quartz along the edge here right and nothing 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 so, so far it's in there where we're down lower that we're finding all the ones with silver in them. Up here on the high and dry, we're not getting anything. Uh, we're only eight feet maybe above the level we were at. It goes up to about 10 feet up all in total to about here. And then it goes back down to the road way out that way, a few hundred feet. But, yeah, it's beautiful out here. This is perfect temperature and there's no bugs.